Good morning, HCG peeps. It's your girl MJ checking in for round three VLCD 56. And welcome to gloomy, gloomy weather, which I need to get this vlog out there. Um, let's see. I weighed in at 141.2, which is a release of 1.2 pounds from yesterday. Yay! And um, that really is solidifying for me that I need to like let go of control and just allow my body to do what it's going to do. And it's almost like if I, when I do that, my body's going, I got you, girl. I got you. I'll hook you up. And so I'm loving this last few um, days on this round. Anyway, um, having my sh protein shake, my after workout protein shake, it has a whey protein. Um, spinach, uh, frozen strawberries, uh, what else? Mm, oh, and also I put in some uh, sugar-free Torini um, syrup and just water. So it's really delicious. It's my after workout. Today I walked, hence the hot mess get up, which you guys will be getting on the days that I do my vlogs right after I um, do my walk. Anyway, I think it was Heavy Dobby that asked us our favorite mug. And mine is... Very tropical. Um, I got it actually from Starbucks in Okinawa. And, um, and it has like the shishi dogs. And Okinawan culture, shishi dogs are kind of like the good and evil. And they protect the family. So um, they're normally kind of cemented on, um, on columns in front of their house. Or you can put it in like right by your door. I have like shishi dogs all over my house. And look, it's very tropical. Yeah, I love it. I love it. I'm an island girl. What can I say? Uh, yeah, so that's what's happening. Yesterday for lunch, I believe, uh, yeah, for lunch, what did I, did I, no, I had um, my Quest Bar, which was the um, chocolate brownie. That was really delicious. And then for dinner, I had four ounces of um, salmon burger with half of an English cucumber, which I just sprinkled with lemon and salt and pepper. And then I had my very last um, chalk of D, so I need to uh, mix some more. Um, oh yeah, and I got a total of four cups of coffee and also drank lots of water. I think uh, for breakfast I just had like two cups of coffee with the coconut creamer and stevia and then um, as I was like sort of driving and running around I made a stop at um, Dunkin Donuts and got their latte with a non-fat milk and sadly they didn't have like Splenda they only had equal so I had them put equal oh my god that was disgusting oh it was so disgusting I haven't had equal and I can't even tell you how long Oh, by the way, I'm shedding. I'm shedding, yeah. When I'm on a round, or immediately after a round, I lose my, um, I am thinning. My hair is thinning. If you could, if you watch my very first vlog, you see that my hair is not the same, which, whatever. I don't care. Um, I think it was Nisi, Nisi Dunal, who asked me, um, what app do you use on your phone? And I'm going to show you briefly before I log off. Um, I use an HCG Plus app, and I'm going to click on it. Um, and, um, and it's very interactive. You know, you can check, like, you have, like, two servings of fruit. This is where you uh, punch in your weight for today. Um, this was my goal. I want to lose 23 pounds. Um, thus far, I've lost 20.8 pounds. I still have 2.2 to go. I'm on phase two, day 56. I have seven more to go. And the reason why that says seven instead of four, it's because I have, um, a total of seven injections left. So I don't know. Once I get to uh, day 60, I'm deciding whether I'm going to either freeze them or just throw them away or I'm going to continue to inject until they're completely gone. And again, this is very interactive. If you go to uh, menu, go to menu, you can write like start date and then you can write like how many, like the start day for me. And then how many um, days do you want to be on your phase two, phase three, phase four? And then you can click a box where it will um, automatically either calculate when you should start your next round or it will override it. So these are the dates. Um, 
and let me see. Oh, and then, um, and it tells you the different foods that you're allowed to eat, medicines you're taking, or vitamins. Again, the weight, if you click on the weight, um, again, you can set, set that up. Let's see, what else? Um, oh, yeah, oh, this one is also measurements. Measurements, you know, from the very beginning. Um, it's very interactive. I mean, I like it. Uh, this is the plan, so it tells you things you need to know about HCG protocol, and then you can track, and these are the things that you can track, you know, um, you can track your measurement and your weight, and the diet, so it actually has a copy of the book Pounds and Inches, the difference, the differences between the different faces, um, and you can, um, there, there's some audio book. Um, and if you're vegetarian, this is P2 vegetarian, and then help, Q&A, they're on Facebook, all of that, and uh, yeah, and this one's actually, I like it, look, it's very interactive, and uh, if, I, if you go to um, your weight, it literally, it uh, does that for you, it's really amazing, it's a day-to-day -day thing, you know, so... Uh, yeah, do you see that? <laughs> it says 162, uh, where it like was steady my very first week on uh, P2. Part of the reason for that is because Mary Jane did not weigh. Mary Jane was too scared to find out how big she got. So I assumed I started at 162, which looking back, I probably weighed... Um, I don't know, anywhere from like 165 to 168. So yeah, I didn't weigh. Look, I started weighing, and then from the time I weighed, there was a big drop to like 157.5, and then it was pretty st steady going from there. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> oh, gosh. Crazy girl. Anywho. Uh, yeah, that's what's happening. Um, I can't recall how much I paid for this, but I started using this uh, round two. Um, and it really, really helped me during round two because I didn't have a lot of time to jot everything down um, on my journal, which I am a journaling kind of girl. Something very interactive about actually physically writing the number and figuring out my rounds. So I use that more sort of for easy access, you know, for if I just am wanting to know quickly, like, have I gone down? How many weights have I lost? You know, how many more um, pounds do I need to go in order to reach my goal? So... Yeah, and according to that, I am 2.8, and I have anywhere from four days to seven days to do it. Yay, I think I can. Um, oh, I want to show you this before I log off. I don't know how long this video is now. Yeah, Godiva Salted Caramel Milk Chocolate. This is my kryptonite. I'm so not even kidding you. Um, but... You know how much appeal this has on me right now? Zilch. Nada. Zero. I bought this. I bought one for my son and one for my daughter, and they also have the uh, cookies and cream one. I love Godiva. I'm one of those people that if I'm going to get in chocolate, it better be good quality chocolate. Um, yeah, so, oh, I just wanted to say thank you guys for those of you who have done your values. And for those of you who haven't, I know that you're thinking about it like uh, Princess Di. And Lori was the last one whose values I actually watched, and she's such an overachiever. I love it. She said she had, like, seven pages. So, um, yeah, and that's kind of sort of the purpose of that, for us to really start to think about you know what we value and um, not for like sappy purposes but really sort of I think I'm a firm believer kind of like Lori um, that and that law of attraction you know what you choose to focus on you get more of so when we go through our day remembering what we value and the things we love and enjoy we get to have more of that you know it's sort of that um, attitude of gratitude and um, and I think it was I'm shedding. Urgh. 
I think it was uh, Mr. Freckles Andy, whose recent vlog I just watched, where she's talking about her friend who's um, munching around her and really, really depressed. I know for me, and I can only speak for myself, that when I am um, in such a bad like headspace, when I am emotionally not feeling great, um, it's because what I'm doing is I'm focusing on all the negative things, you know, and I know for me, the minute I start getting healthy, it's very instantaneous. Like you see it on my skin, you see it in, in my sort of presence. I am a firm believer in energy and I'm going to go ahead and officially throw this out there. I'm sure it's not going to be a surprise to you guys. Um, uh, several of you, I think it was Generous Soul and uh, Suisse's Body who's commented on my um, my username where she said it's very zen. Um, and that's in complete alignment with who I am. I am a practicing Buddhist. I have been a Buddhist for um, officially practicing for 11 years. But prior to that, um, I was dabbling in Buddhism for two years prior. So technically, I've been um, doing it for about 13 years. And I love it. My husband is a Buddhist, too. My kids are Buddhist. They grew up in the practice. Growing up in the practice. They're not out of my house yet. Um, but that doesn't mean I don't believe in God. It doesn't. You know, I grew up Catholic. My uh, my family, my Filipino family, very devout Catholic. And um, whenever they spend time with me here, um, they respect it. You know, I have my altar and I chant morning and evening and um, and I meditate and um, and I part of the reason why I became vegetarian uh, and been sort of on and off all throughout my life is because it's sort of that um, issue of uh, you know, being humane to other beings. So yeah, um, I was afraid to throw that out there, but I figured you guys would eventually sort of put two and two together. Anyway, I'm going to log off feeling really wonderful and great. Commitment level today is at a 10, believe it or not. Even with the presence of my kryptonite, no thing, but a chicken wang. Um, yeah, I'm, I have a lot to do. I, in terms of cleaning up and, um, in organizing my house, I'm with HCG meant to be. Whenever I'm shedding weight, I feel the need to go through every closet in my house and rearrange and clean up the clutter and all that. I'm sure it's something very, you know, there's parallel in, in all of that. So I love you people. Um, shout outs to the people in P3. You know who you are, HCG. Uh, uh, HCG Rhonda G, uh, Wendy Rocky Mountain HCG, um, Miss HCG Girl, who else? Uh, Princess Die, uh, oh, and HCG Lamb Chops, Mama Joe, um, who else? Just Granny, oh, Miss Joyful, of course. Uh, blanking out you guys you know who you are p3ers um we are supporting you and we are watching you and please continue to vlog and let us know how you're doing oh hello ricky um god i can't remember ricky's username oh my god that's going to bug me hcg for me I'm going to look it up and write it on the comments below. Anyway, you guys are doing well. And for those of us people on um, P2, let's do the damn thing. All right. Okay. Love you people. Bye.